Okay, now question number three here is a little bit tricky. Um, we're given some information about the perimeter of the shape. We know the total about the around the outside of the shape is 22, and we're asked to find the area. Problem is we've got some algebra involved in here. So, well, let's make an expression for the area and make it equal to 22 first, and then see if we can work out what x is. And that might help us to, to find the area. So, well, we've got some missing sides here. If this is x from here to here, then it's 3x all the way down this length. Here must be 2x. And along the bottom, the whole distance from left to right is 2x plus 7. I only want to go from here to here, so that's x left of x plus 7. So if I find an expression, if I start here and I walk all the way around the outside, the edge of my shape, I get 2x plus 7 plus x plus another x plus 2x plus x plus 7 and then finally up the final step back to the beginning here plus 3x and the total of all of that must be 22. So let's collect all the bits up together 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. So 10x plus the 14 must equal 22. So I've made a little simple equation here from the information I gave us about the perimeter. So 10x plus 14, so that means 10x must be 8, as I take away 14 from both sides. And that must be 10, uh, x is 8 divided by 10, which is 0 0.8. Okay, so we now know what x is, and that's going to help us to find our distance all the way around. I'm just going to change color. Now, if I divide this into two shapes, if I call this big square A and this big square B, well, the area of A is given, well, it's a rectangle. It looks a bit like a square, but it's a rectangle. It's 3x times by x plus 7. Well, but we really know that 3x is 3 lots of 0 0.8, which is 2.4. And we really know that this distance down here is 7.8. So the calculation I want to do for a is 2.4 times 7.8. And that comes out as 18.72 centimeter squared. If I find the area of B, um, it's just this little up here, it's a little square, there. this one is a square because it's the same measurement, it's 0 0.8 and 0 0.8. So all I've got to do is do 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.8 and that comes up with 0 0.64 centimeter squared. So that means the total area um, must be 19.36 centimetres squared. So we use the information they gave us to find out information we found out that x was 0 0.8 from the perimeter all the way around the outside of the shape, and then we use that to do calculations on the inside. Hope that makes sense.